Hello guys, welcome to KG Designs, a great place with free graphics design tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to create a swirling logo in Affinity Design. We are now in Affinity Designer. So in this tutorial, we are going to make a swirling logo using the XO tool that serves the same purpose as the Shape Builder. Though it does it make it very well as the shape builder in Adobe, but yeah, in Affinity it does. So select the circle tool, draw a circle, remove the fill color, make the radius, align it to the center, and make the radius of the circle 500 millimeters, whereby the width and the height have 500 millimeters. Align it to the center. So, by pressing Ctrl or Command and G, makes a duplicate. Yeah, just like that. So, we resize the duplicate. Make the radius of the duplicate 300 millimeters, whereby the height and the width have 300 millimeters. So, select the circles, then align to the center just pressing one of those ones um, no so now here we come up with a donut like shape yeah so we're going to select a smaller circle make a duplicate out of it then we're going to rescale the smaller one by pressing shift until it touches the edge of the bigger circle so select the circle Make sure that you enable the transform origin feature. Yeah, select using the node tool. Using the node tool, enable the feature and then move the center of the circle to the center of the middle. Then make another duplicate out of it. Rotate the duplicate to 90 degrees. So it will come up to form another circle like this then press ctrl and g to create other duplicates so that will come up with something like that the next step you're going to select all of the shapes convert them to curves and then click on the XO tool that's on the right upper corner select the node tool so here this tool works as the shape builder, but it doesn't bring it out very well. So, by pressing Ctrl on your keyboard, you're going to delete the unwanted lines so that you only come up with a moon like shape, just as I'm doing right now. You hold Ctrl and then left click on the unwanted lines. Yeah, so guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if at all you're enjoying this video. Yes. So, here I've come up with this moon like shapes in a swelling form, making up a swelling logo. But we are not yet done. So, what we're going to do next, we are going to delete all the other lines and leave out only one moon like shape yeah that's how i want to do it so select the node tool holding control did the other line so that will only remain with one moon like shape just like as i'm doing right now delete the others so that will remain with one yeah Delete. Right. this line that line that line highlight that point delete highlight that point delete and then highlight that and delete so we are only left with this using the node tool select all the points of the moonlight shape and then join curves so that it becomes one shape that can be filled with any color yeah just like that so you are going to add gradients by using the fill tool. 
So here we are applying our gradients that are having two colors whereby it's going to be applied just like this. Two colors at the end points and one color in the middle point. So at one point, we're going to apply the dark orange color. And then in the middle point, we are going to apply the lighter light orange color. And then at the other end point, we are going to apply the dark orange color. Just like this. So we make some adjustments in our gradients. Some little little adjustments so that we make it look good and nice. And now we are done with applying gradients. So we are going to draw another bigger circle, just like the one we drew at the beginning, having a radius of 500 millimeters. Remove the fill color, make the width and height 500 millimeters, just like the one we had at the beginning. So arrange it by moving it to the back and then align it to the center whereby it has to be snapping with the moonlike shape that we have so select the moonlike shape move its center to the center of the bigger triangle just like this you hold and then drag it to the middle of the to the center of the bigger circle just like that then click on the moonlike shape create a duplicate Rotate the duplicate to 90 degrees. Then press Command or Control J, Control and J to make other duplicates. Now we can remove the bigger circle. It's no longer needed. So here we have come up with swelling, a swelling logo, just like that. Select all, and then remove the stroke color. Remove the stroke. Yeah, so now we are going to change the gradient type. So we are going to select all the shapes. Select the fill to change the type of the gradient. Make it to be radio. So that it makes it look like so that it makes it look like that. Make it have a perfect look of a swelling of a swelling logo. So here we are, we have come up with a swelling logo made up of moonlight shapes rotated 90 degrees yeah so guys thank you for watching this tutorial please hit this don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever a new upload is made stay blessed thank you